guys, it's Jimmy again, and today we're playing CTF. I'm not sure whether the Hey Guys got cut off. Um, oh look, the flag's gonna get captured again. This game is almost over, actually. <coughs> Sorry, I am sick right now, not really. Uh, you might hear me cough throughout the episode, but very rarely. Um, I have also found out from past experiences, my cough sounds really high-pitched on camera, uh, on video. Uh, I don't know why, and I'm sorry about it. There's nothing I can do about it, and this guy stole our flag again. So today is Pyro Kit Review Day. I'm not sure whether I said that, but um, let's pretend I didn't. Anyway, so the Pyro Kit starts you off with leather armor. I have a bunch of arrows in me from bit attacking. 20 exploding arrows, a bow to shoot these arrows, a flint and steel, five stake, and an insta-kill axe. And we have a compass too. Every kid has a compass. I might as well explain about this now, so I don't have to explain about it later. Uh, compass points to the flag. That's it. Every kid has it, like I said. Um, uh, in future kit reviews, I won't be saying anything about it, so watch this video. But watch all my kit reviews. Uh, I haven't recorded any others yet, but I will be soon. Anyway, so... the. Pyro kit is about fire, obviously, it's a pyro kit, and your goal is to set your opponents on fire, either using your exploding arrows or your flint and steel, so you can insta-kill them using your insta-kill axe. Uh, the flint and steel is pretty basic, it's like vanilla flint and steel. Um, he dropped the flag into the void. Uh, just place it, set to fire. Oh, I can't do that in spawn. Um, the exploding arrows and the, um, what is it, a bow are a little more sophisticated. Basically, whenever you shoot them, uh, the proximity, like its radius, will be on fire. Like whatever is in its proximity or radius, sorry. Uh, for example, I'm gonna try to shoot this person and I hit. And obviously, once they're on fire, you can one-shot them. Let me see if I can. No. You ran away with our flag. I'm sad. Um, yeah. That's about it for the exploding arrows. Uh, I find the exploding arrows are a lot easier to set your opponents on fire with uh, than the um, flint and steel. Flint and steel. Uh... It's hard to get your opponents on fire with. Hmm. Funnily enough, I just got someone on fire with flint and steel. Just as I was saying that it wasn't very useful. And he's not on fire anymore. That guy is. Uh, it's really easy to rack up kill streaks using this kit. Uh, only because- Oh, he had a 13 kill streak? Wow, that's pretty awesome. And I finally died. Uh, because you can insta-kill, it's really easy to get kill streaks. Sorry, I lost my train of thought while, um, I was killing people. Uh, Pyro is considered an overpowered kit because you can insta-kill. Um, but I don't think it's overpowered, mainly because it's not very easy to set your opponents on fire. Uh, I have played Pyro. Oh, wow, well, one of my video files is ready. Um, a lot in the past, so I know this. Uh, as you may have seen there, you want to be careful when you are using the Pyro kit and you step in your own fire or another Pyro sets you on fire. It is possible to get set on fire using the Pyro kit. Um, didn't the Mikey Firestar just end the boing boing speed? It's sort of weird. Um, I don't know, might have been a different person, but I know somebody ended Mikey Firestar speak. Uh, if you are on fire, another pyro can one hit you, even though you do not take fire damage. And I didn't feel like wasting an arrow. Uh, another thing I should tell you about is medics. Uh, medics cannot get set on fire, therefore you want to be very careful when, uh, fighting medics. And, they capture the flag again, actually. 
I thought we were gonna win, but then they started capturing the flag, so it's like, well, we still have more captures than they do. Uh, well, that was a good shot, whoever shot that. I'm gonna eat a steak real fast. Um, medics, you'll have to melee because they don't uh, get set on fire. Uh, all fires get instantly put out. Uh, so you have to be very careful around medics. Medics can usually beat a pyro hand-to-hand -hand combat. And, yeah. And... Dang. Just about died. And, weirdly enough, like, I thought this game would end long ago. I'm just gonna run. I cannot set this guy on fire! Okay, now I did. Let's see where I can go. Good. Um, but, holy cow. God. Sorry, I lost my train of thought when I was fighting. Uh, obviously, you want to be careful around water uh, when you're a pyro, because if your opponent steps in water, they won't be on fire, and you can't kill them. Uh, last thing I'm going to tell you about before I end this kit review, because it is getting long. I'm sorry, I lose my train of thought a lot, especially when I'm playing while I'm talking. Um, you want to be careful if you use this kit as, uh, Archer. And this guy is not a friend. I will blow him up. Thank you for the heal, medic. <coughs> and, like I said, I want to be careful around medics. Uh, medic very, uh, counters Pyro very well. Hey, that's the guy who was... And this game is over, but I'm gonna finish this real fast. Uh, you wanna be careful if you use this kit as an archer kit. Uh, if you're on a good sniping position like this, uh, you might feel tempted to just shoot, especially if like there's a guy with a flag nearby. Um, I did that in my second episode, if you have watched it. Uh, did I say yes? I think I did. Um, uh, Wow, somebody's mad. Good game, you blue fuckers. Um, anyway, but... Yeah, you want to be careful when using this as Archer. Uh, I'm only saying this because, like, you can switch to the Archer kit anytime you want. Slash Archer, it's very simple. Um, but... Uh... Okay, new rule, never try to switch kits after the game ends. Uh, but... And it's gonna be rechosen. Yeah, it's restarting. So I'll explain this on the start menu. Uh, you only have 20 arrows, so you want to be careful when you're using the archer kit. Uh, another thing is that uh, you can't insta kill. You can only shoot and set them on fire. Uh, watch my second episode of CTF for a demonstration. But I think that's about it. Thank you very, uh, thank you very much guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time.